Let's go out to Asheboro, North Carolina, one of the most beautiful places in the country. What's up, Bradley? Hey, Dr. John. How you doing today? Great, man. How are you? I'm doing good. What's up? Uh, well, so my question is, my I have five kids, and they are at my mom's for the summer, just hanging out, doing summer fun things with them. And uh, basically, my wife and I, we are considering selling our current home and buying a new home while they're gone could be easier to move with no kids getting in the way of moving. But is it weird to like then go pick up the kids and just come back and be like, Hey, here's our new house. Like, should we have a conversation with the kids like their FaceTime or I mean, they're eight and under. So most of them in my mind, like won't even really be, you know, they're easily adjustable. But then again, at the same time, I, I could see that being a big deal for kids. You have five kids, eight and under. Yeah. Yeah, they're all about 18 months apart. I bet your house is so, so <laughs> incredibly still right now. Is it amazing? It is. It's, it's awkwardly still. Like, I, I'm used to quiet being something that's getting destroyed, and now it's just peace. And it, it, it's are, weird. Are they at your parents' house? Yeah, yeah, my mom. Are, is your mom and dad just like snorting Xanax off the bathroom counter? How are they doing this? <laughs> that's. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're, they, they, uh, they're troopers for sure. <laughs> I could just see your mom being like, well, your dad started smoking again. And no, that, Hey, <laughs> that's, that's great. Um, how far away is your parents' house? How far away are they from you guys? Uh, 12 hours. Oh, so they're in Mississippi. Golly, man. You're, yeah. you have a, how, how old's your youngest? Uh, two. And that two year old is not going to see y'all for the whole summer. Uh, well, so we, we plan a, a midway visit to basically to kind of, uh, you know, hang out and for a few days. Okay. And, uh, so and I, yeah, it, it's, well, yep. we're testing that. This is the first summer we're, we're trying it. Okay. And, uh, it wouldn't surprise it, it, me if that two year old or that, I guess there's a four year old, if a two and the four year old end up needing to come home halfway through, maybe. Right. Um, that wouldn't surprise me. That that's a lot, a lot of separation from mom and dad for a two and a four year old. It is just developmentally. That's a lot, but uh, maybe with their brothers and sisters, eight, six, and five. I mean, even five. That's that's a long time. But all I'd say that's not even why you called. So if I always find myself in your situation, so you're thinking about selling the house y'all live in, it'd be so much. It's easier to do everything. Just get, it's just going to the bathroom is so so much easier. Um, right. Having breakfast is so much easier, but you're thinking about selling your house and moving to a whole new place. Well, it's, it's basically, you know, I mean, the housing market is crazy, but uh, we, we, my, we were, my wife was looking up home values and realized that like basically for the price, for the value of ours, we could, there's like new developments and new neighborhoods growing up that have much more, you know, playgrounds and things like that. And so we could uh, potentially give, you know, be in a better situation, more rooms for the same price. So I could, you know, uh, as we currently are in, where we're in like a 1960s home where at any point, you know, something could really go wrong. Uh, we, we could end up being in a newer one with the same money, basically. Yeah. I mean, and, and new things are going to go wrong and I mean, in new houses too. So uh, what I, what I want you to do is to, if y'all decide to move, great. I don't want you to create a bunch of problems where you live now. I'd much rather you see some opportunity somewhere else. Yeah. Right. Um, cause your house, I, I'm, I'm convinced that the house you're in right now, you could raise all, all five of these kids and you and your wife, and it would be tight and it'd be maniacal and you'd be loud and all those things. But y'all could do it. You're seeing some new developments that have some cool amenities that you guys want as your family that might make your life more fun or a little bit easier or whatever. No, that, that's all well and good. So if you were to sell your house and let's pretend it sold in 30 days and you were going to move and let's pretend in August, August 1st is your move date and you're out of here and um, your two-year-old and your four-year-old have come back home. Um, here's what I would do in that situation. I would have a place picked out that I'm like put an offer in. This is going to be our home. I would not say, Hey, we're thinking about moving this or that or that or this or anything like that. I would say we found a place 
And here's why. Those kids that young, the ambiguity, the you instantly pull the tether out, it doesn't make sense. Whereas you and your wife are like, hey, we should look at some houses. That can become fun and that can become an adventure for a kid. It can be unsettling. But okay. you guys you guys find a place. Here's where we're going to go. Then you take pictures of where their bedrooms will be and what we're going to move. Um, it's, a, it's, it's Piaget and it's old. We're going to move into very concrete. This is going to be your room what color would you like it to be? Red or orange? Orange or pink? And that way, they get the concreteness. We are moving to a new house. Hey, look, here's a picture of the pool. Here's a picture of the playground. Here are some things that are going to be very real in our lives. And you get some ownership in this move, however small it might be. And by giving them some ownership, they are, have a vested interest. They move. I, I can't describe it. Then they move into that choice and that decision. And when they walk in, that sense of this is all new and this is all kind of freaky is also I picked that color. That's mine. And this yeah. is my room, or this is our like if you're sharing rooms, this is our room, and we picked this. And maybe you ask, do you want a baseball poster or a Hello Kitty post? I don't know what your kids are into, but. Find one or two little little variables that they get a choice in all the way down to your, maybe even your four-year-old. But for sure, your, your, your eight-year-old, I guess you have a six, you have a seven or yeah. something like that, five-year-old, something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. eight, six, five, three, two, I think. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you're eight and your six and your five-year-old, I would sit them down separately than the other two and say, we're going to have a big kid conversation we found an amazing new house that's going to give more space, that's going to be by a new park and a pool, and they're going to go, wow, ah! and then one or two of those kids, if not all of them, will go, but I like our old house, and what about my room? And that's when you can say, check this out. And you can have an iPad for them or even put on a big screen TV and say, this is going to be your room, and you get to pick between baseball or football or whatever and like whatever and whatever, and you get to pick this color. Which one do you want? And just go through it that way. And that way, when they show up, it's more of a sense of ownership and not a sense of they pulled the wool out from under me. The worst right, thing you could yeah. do was just drive home <laughs> and pick and them be up like, new and be like, yeah. new house. And then they will never feel settled for the rest of their life. That's not true. That They would be fine. But um, I definitely wouldn't do that. But I would I would bring them into it when you have some some security. This is where we're moving. This is the house. And when they can have tiny little bits of ownership. Um, I think okay. that's that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. That, the older ones were my main concern. And then, uh, yeah, who knows? We might get to getting everything house ready and then decide, Hey, we still really like this house. But I had a, um, um I had a, a, a professor, a counseling professor. Her name's Aretha Marbley. She's just, um, really important person in my life. She gave me some advice when my wife got pregnant with Josephine, um, six years after we had Hank. And she said, you can avoid all of the problems that, having uh, the first kid experiences with your second kid, if you will just do one thing. And I rolled my eyes. And I was like, whatever. Everybody's giving me all this stupid parenting advice. And she said, just from this point forward, start referring to your wife's pregnancy as his baby. Just his baby. And what I didn't understand developmentally at the time um, was he was very, very young, but he was so desperate. Kids are so desperate for any shred of ownership. Um, and as parents, we can't give them a lot of ownership. And we're there's some kind of weird cultural zeitgeist where it's like, we, they do what we tell us and we tell them that's terrible parenting. But if we teach them little bits of, Hey, here's what ownership looks like and feels like, and you get to pick this. And if one of them throws a temper tantrum, I don't want to move. I hate this. That's fine. You just took the, like you move their house on them. That's cool. When right. you're ready to come back and have this conversation, we'll be happy to. I'm sorry that you're choosing to throw a temper tantrum over a really neat thing, but I do understand that this is scary for you. So when you're ready to choose what room color you want, come on back. We, we can't wait for you to be here. And I'm going to let them go have their little fit and go do their little thing. I, I, I'm not going to get affected by that. I'm going to do what's best for my family, right? Um, but, man, you give them a little bit of ownership, whether it comes to having a brother or sister, you give them a little ownership into – um, their appearance and what, how the room looks, or little bits of ownership, uh, man, goes such a long, long way with with um, childhood development. So, well done, man. <laughs> I don't know how y'all pulled the scam of the century, sending all five of those kids away, but well done. Well done. And um, best of luck to you, man. If you do get a new house, send us a picture and we'll post it up here, man. Can't wait. 